I am today going to show you how to make the pindi chole or in common language it is also known as the black chole. Uh, you, my friends would always wonder how we make the black chole and so today I am going to show you the secret to it. It's going to be super yummy and delicious. Uh, and uh, let's go right ahead and see how it's done. So one cup of soaked chickpeas. I will be boiling these chickpeas for that. I will be needing four cups of water, two tablespoons of tea leaves, about two to three cloves and two tiny small sticks of cinnamon. In a pan, I will be pouring four cups of water and bring it to a boil. I will now put in the two tablespoons of tea leaves. the cloves and the cinnamon stick and let it boil. Let it boil for about two to three minutes and it turns into a nice brown color, the water. I will now strain this water in a container. I will now use this water to boil the chickpeas in the pressure cooker. Add another half a cup of water. I have put the chickpeas to boil. Before I throw away this tea leaves, I will add some more water to it and I will strain it again in a container just in case I need to add a little more water later on. In a pan, I will put two and a half tablespoons of ghee. Throw in three bay leaf, five to six sliced ginger, two green chilies sliced lengthwise, a pinch of asafoetida and stir. Put in two tablespoons of the Punjabi garam masala, one teaspoon of roasted cumin powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one and a half teaspoon of red chili powder. Give it a stir. I will now put in one medium tomato puree. My chickpeas are nicely boiled. I will now throw them into the tomato paste. One teaspoon of amchur powder or dried mango powder. One teaspoon of rock salt some salt as per taste. Please taste before putting because you have put in the amchur powder as well as the rock salt and about one teaspoon of sugar since there are a lot of salty things in this chole. I will put in another half a cup of this water and let it simmer for some time. has been simmering in my pan for about seven to eight minutes on a very low flame. You can see the consistency. Um, I will now check it again for the salt and the sourness of the dried mango powder. Uh, the pindi chole needs to be a little sweet and sour. So we will adjust our masalas accordingly. Add a little sugar in it and 
a little more dried mango powder as per taste so yeah we are almost ready with the pindi chole serve it with onion rings and some chopped tomatoes and bell peppers and with some sweet tamarind chutney on it and along with bhaturas so that's that guys uh it's a very simple recipe a little time consuming takes a little time to cook the chickpeas but uh, do make it do enjoy it have fun with it bye bye